I was living in uh, Panama City, Panama, doing my thing, singing some cover songs, attending weddings, doing the fancy stuff. And then he comes along, while he was sitting in one of the uh, gigs I was performing, he's like, what you're doing is just like shit. I'm like, okay, interesting. So what do you propose? Mark was like, you should come with me and do the real thing. You know, be like an artist and create your own songs and uh, do your thing. So well, I don't know if I quite put it that way, but uh, <laughs> I saw her performing and I just heard that voice. I knew I had to work with her. So I made her a trade offer. I said, what if I make you a music video? Would you sing on some of my tracks? I was like, okay, let's, let's give it a shot. <laughs> well, I had never made anyone a music video before. <laughs> and uh, ended up working out well, and we did a lot of back and forth for a few years, and now we're working together. And uh, yeah. yeah. So, so um, as a creative artist, and as a woman, no, 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 as a Russian woman, I like to think big. For example, if we are making a music video, I'm thinking, Camera, lights, dancers, actors, beautiful makeup, wardrobe, filming in some kind of exotic location. But when I come back to reality, I don't really have a big budget and I don't really have exotic location. And that makes me feel kind of limited. Or at least I think that I am limited. And that forces me to look at what I have right now. <laughs> and all I have right now is this guy, Mark. <laughs> so we took a trip. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> so we took a trip about three years ago to Prague. And it's a beautiful city, lots of amazing things to see. Well, one night we're on our way to a jazz club and we happen to be passing by this river. Now, this is not exactly the highlight of my career in terms of quality footage. This is a dark, shaky clip, about 10 seconds long. So fast forward three years later, we're at home and we want to make a new music video. So how do you start? How do you organize your ideas and choose the one you want to work with? Well, first, focus on one direction that comes naturally to you. And then find an easy way to get there. Well, by easy, I mean something you're capable of doing broken down into small, manageable steps using the skills and tools you have available without the big elaborate plans. So what did we want? We wanted a simple, fresh video. Then we look around and see what we have. So there was a plain white wall in our living room. We had the actress, and we had a single bright light shining on the actress. Well, it still looked like a video we filmed in our living room. It was simple, but not fresh. It needed a few more elements, a little more flavor. Well, when I get stuck, I like to go through my old things for inspiration. And I happened to be going through my old footage when I ran across this river clip from Prague. And I go, whoa, this is different. I don't even remember taking this. It doesn't even look like Prague. But maybe I can use it somehow. And I started to mix it over the actress, and I got this cool shimmering effect. Well, the effect was kind of okay. It still needs a little bit of work, Mark. <laughs> okay, so I go back to digging, and this time, in my closet, I happen to find this old 80s TV. Now, this is my favorite part. I start tinkering around, and I think, what if I can run the footage through the TV? And I end up getting this sharp, high contrast popping effect that the TV, TV has naturally built in. Now I'm able to combine the river footage with the TV glitchy effects and the actress doing her thing. I've reached total artistic control. I've created this whole new tool and technique that I can use not just for finishing this video, but I can use for other videos as well. And the part I really love about this approach is that it reminds me we all have hidden things in our closet that can become your treasures, that you can reuse and rethink for whole new purposes. 
these TVs were never meant to be color effects processors. They were made for watching Seinfeld episodes. And I never think a 10 second clip of a river late at night could be used for such a beautiful effect. So the point is, you don't have to go to Prague to film rivers. You can film a river anywhere. And you don't have to go out and buy the latest gadgets. You may have this old red TV sitting in your closet. So whether you're an artist or not, even without the big budget, you can still create something fresh and innovative using the skills and tools you have available now. So how does the video look like in the end? We would love to perform a song for you called Tense. And this song was inspired by willing to take a step back from all those pressures around you and come into your inner self.
Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you so much.